Alright guys, welcome back to another video. So, um, yeah, first of all, sorry for the lack of uploads, but as I said, um, I was on vacation, but now I'm back, and yeah. And this video is also not gonna be very long, it's gonna be pretty short. But I still try to get out as much as I can, but I'm really busy currently in real life, so yeah. Okay, but um, if you're wondering why this looks like that, um, I enabled a new beta feature. That is the new uh, updated, no, not the update, updated controls. That is the new next gen studio preview. You can also label this <coughs> if you want, because I think at some point Roblox is definitely gonna force, so I'm just using this already. <clears throat> but yeah, let's just uh, get started. I at the guard break episode, I made a bug um, that I didn't even notice until now. Um, but yeah, we're just gonna fix this. So let's open up our um, blocking module. And in here, in the pairing stuff, we want to remove the is a player here. Uh, because this whole error when uh, it happens to NPCs also here because um, if it's not a like if this is not even a player and we try to check something with the player well it can't do nil it can't do um, is a player on uh, in the um, yeah, on a no, you know what? <laughs> yeah, so just remove the is a player because if player is already enough. But yeah, that was one thing. Um, then I also wanted to change something because um, currently there's a really big like um, gap. Mm, which like that you can if I get the combo here and then you can't block for a while that's because our attacking attribute is still true and we are waiting for that to go false so that we can block so we're gonna modify our helpful module and uh, here we want to add a new thing and that is the swing and then for the blocking, we just want to check for the swing, not for the attacking. Um, yeah. This will just make it so we can block better, I would say. So, uh, we will swing, uh, it's a target every swing. Then let's also add swing here. And then we can copy this. Uh, swing, and swing, then stop. And now we have to replace it uh, at all places where we use this or change it at our places where we use check for attributes. And here uh, in the UI, I can just do open scripts or script um, and go to finds and then find all. And then I can search for check for attributes in every script. So then I can just click this here and it's going to open up the script. So that is uh, our my equipping. I want it to be true here. Um, that is the blocking. I want the. Um, yeah, I don't want it uh, to check for the attacking anymore. So do that false, but I want to check for the swing. So I'm gonna do that true. And then here everything is true too. Okay. Then we can close this again and we can try it out. Mm, at the end of the episode, I'm also gonna show a little sneak peek of what uh, is gonna come in the next episode. Uh, let's see if this works. Yep, we can block right after that. We can, yeah, we can also block right after text now as long as the swing attribute is false. I like this uh, more, so we yeah, don't have to wait so long um, now 
for um, blocking. That's just way better in my opinion. But yeah. Um, I also want to do then one more little thing. And that is just also at the highlights to um, the blocking stuff. So we can just copy um, this. And put this here at our blocking. Down here. And put this enemy character and I want the color to be yellow. And also just be there for 0.5 seconds. <clears throat> and let's try this out. And there it is. Okay. Looks pretty nice. Uh, did I make an error or why aren't they getting... Oh, okay. <laughs> I already thought, but yeah. Um, quick editing in here. I, I I noticed the thing that uh, for some reason I, I didn't even do it. Like I don't know why. Um, but we never implemented the blocking cooldown for some reason. Um, I mean we kind of did, but we never used it. So, um, let's open your blocking client. Um, and type here. F is typing. Or debounce then return end. <clears throat> so we, we never use that debounce for our blocking. Um, but now it's working. Uh, yeah, that was um, something weird. Okay, but now I am gonna show you a sneak peek of the next episode. I'm just gonna drag this here. Alright. Um, so. Here I already have a new weapon prepared and that is the Maestros. And that's what the animation looks like. Pretty janky, it's also not mine, but yeah, um and now you're gonna maybe already see what uh, is different. So let me just Yeah. Maybe you've seen it, but for different attacks they were different um sounds and particles. So, for the first attack, it's this bloody thing because I hit at him with the, yeah, with the mace pretty much. But then at the second hit, it is a fist hit and there's a new sound and new effects. That's pretty much um, what I'm going to be doing next episode. It's just something uh, I think is really nice and it's, yeah, like... <laughs> something new um, because now for the fist we also don't have the same blood uh, effect um, as with the sword for, ne for example um, but yeah yeah um, that's what gonna be uh, what we're gonna be doing next episode um, yeah and after that I will see what I'm gonna be doing but yeah, there's also just my test place here. Um, yeah, but I'm gonna say you have to do a lot of um, animation exporting next episode again because this has to do uh, with the animations. But yeah, thanks a lot for watching. Have a great day and see ya. Bye.